Welcome to the 13th episode of Bluefish Ads Branding Series. Today, we're diving into the world of rebranding strategies, exploring when and how to give your business a fresh new look. Stay tuned for valuable insights that can transform your brand's success. Rebranding strategies, when and how to consider rebranding your business. Rebranding is like giving your business a fresh look and feel. It's when you change things like your logo, name, or even the way you talk about your business. But why do it, and when is it a good idea? Let's break it down in simple terms. Why rebrand? 1. Staying relevant. As time goes by, what people like and what's popular changes. Your business might need a new look to fit in with what's cool and fresh. 2. Fixing problems. Sometimes, things aren't going so well for your business. Rebranding can help you fix those issues and start fresh. 3. Targeting a new audience. If you want to sell your products or services to a different group of people, a rebrand can help you speak their language and catch their attention. 4. Mergers and acquisitions. When two or more companies come together, they might rebrand to show they're now working as one big team. 5. Legal reasons. Sometimes, you have to change your name or logo because someone else already owns them. Rebranding can help you avoid legal trouble. When to rebrand? Now that we know why, let's talk about when it's a good time to rebrand. 1. Declining sales. If you've noticed that fewer people are buying from you, it might be time for a change. A fresh look can reignite interest in your business. 2. Negative reputation. If your brand has taken a hit because of a scandal or bad press, a rebrand can help you leave that negativity behind. 3. Outdated image. If your logo or messaging looks like it's from another era, it might be a sign that you need to update to stay current. 4. Changing goals. If your business is moving in a new direction, your branding should reflect that. A rebrand can help communicate your new goals. 5. New leadership. When new leaders take charge, they often want to put their stamp on the business. A rebrand can be part of that. How to rebrand? Now, let's talk about how to actually do a rebrand. 1. Set clear goals. Know why you're rebranding and what you want to achieve. This will guide all your decisions. 2. Research. Understand your customers, your competition, and what's happening in your industry. This helps you make smart choices. 3. Create a rebranding team. Get a group of people together who can help you make decisions. This might include designers, marketers, and even customers. 4. Develop your new brand. Start by brainstorming new ideas for your logo, name, colors, and messaging. Make sure it all fits your goals. 5. Test it out. Before you launch your new brand, test it with a small group of people or in a limited way. Make sure it's working the way you want it to. 6. Launch and communicate. When you're ready, unveil your new brand to the world. Tell your customers what's changing and why. Be clear about it. 7. Monitor and adjust. After your rebrand, keep an eye on how it's working. If things aren't going as planned, be ready to make changes. 8. Stay consistent. Once you've rebranded, use your new look and messaging consistently. This helps people recognize and remember your business. Examples of successful rebrands. Apple. In the late 1990s, Apple was struggling. They rebranded with a fresh, simple look and innovative products like the iPod, setting the stage for their iconic success today. McDonald's. In the early 2000s, McDonald's rebranded by updating their restaurants, menus, and advertising. This modernization helped them attract a new generation of customers. Nike. Nike's rebrand in the 1970s involved creating a new logo, the famous swoosh, and a slogan, just do it. This transformed them from a small company into a global sports brand. Google. Google's rebrand in 2015 simplified their logo and branding, reflecting their shift to a more streamlined and user-friendly approach. In conclusion, rebranding is like giving your business a makeover. You do it to stay relevant, fix problems, or reach new customers. It's important to have clear goals and do your research. With the right plan and team, a rebrand can breathe new life into your business and help it thrive in the ever-changing world of business. Just remember to communicate the changes with your customers, stay consistent, and be ready to adjust if things don't go as planned.
We hope you've gained valuable insights to elevate your business. If you found this episode helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more branding wisdom. Until next time, keep branding brilliantly with Bluefish Ad.